What's up YouTube? Hope you guys enjoy that new intro I just made. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure to go ahead and subscribe, helps us grow. But now going on to the video, I am doing a beard transformation on my boy Dre. His beard, as you guys can tell when he first came in, was very tight and curled up because he does wear a mask at work. So right now we're just using a beard strainer, just get it all strained out into its full length. Now as you can tell, the beard is completely strained out, so this is a great way to start off a beard trim service. After that, we're gonna go ahead and take our three guard and we're gonna go with the grain, just going off of his face, not pushing in, and we're just getting those extra hairs that are hanging off. After that, we're gonna set the perimeter, the whole outline of the beard. So we're combing the hair out and then we're gonna go ahead and line that up just so we have the perimeters all lined up so we can see how the beard is really looking. After that, we're gonna just fade in the beard real quick using you know, blade open, one guard, two guard, and then that should blend everything in. Just doing a little detail work. He wanted to go ahead and knock down his mustache pretty short so it doesn't bother him while he's working. So we went and took a number one guard closed. And after that, we're gonna go ahead and use our trimmer again and just line up the lip area, just get it nice and clean. And we're gonna go apply some shave gel because we're gonna get ready to line up the beard. You always wanna use a shave gel or water or something just so they don't irritate their skin and it's more comfortable for your client. And we're just stretching with our thumb and we're just going and taking our razor right in there. Once you get closer to the lip area, you do wanna have them blow a bubble just so you can get a flatter surface and it helps make the line a lot more sharper. Uh, this is where he did want his beard lined up. Um, I always recommend him to bring it up higher. I'm slowly convincing him to bring it up higher so we've been slowly letting him grow back out. But he does like it where it's at right now. So please leave the hate comments out because this is how my client likes it, all right? I do consult with my clients. <laughs> now moving on, we're gonna go ahead and comb it through and then we're gonna reline it again because the first pass is just the rough draft like I always say. You gotta go over a good two to three times to get it really nice and crispy. Usually I'll go ahead and do it two or three times right now. I'll leave, I'll go finish everything up and then before he gets out of the chair, I'll run it through one more time. I'm just edging up the other side. This was for our Instagram video, so th that's why the clips are a little bit different, just for entertainment purposes. And just to get that beard extra crispy, we're gonna go ahead and go against the grain, lean him back, get him nice and comfortable, take a quick two minute nap, you know, <laughs> and just go against the grain, get him all nice and clean. Now we're moving on to the most important part of the whole beard trim, which is sculpting the beard. First, your clipper, your tool has to be something very powerful and strong that could sculpt the beard evenly and you're not pushing the hair on. So these Gamma Ergos are the truth. They have the most power that I've ever used in a cordless clipper. It does 10,000 strokes per minute, which is crazy at yeah, 10,000 strokes. Other cordless clippers do around three to 4,000 and it's due to the linear magnetic motor that it has. So make sure you go ahead and pre-order yours and get yours because these are great for beer sculpting, afros, clipper over comb, any type of sculpting or where you're taking a lot of bulk off at once, these clippers have a lot of power. They're kind of like the corded wall seniors. They got that, you just feel that power when you're holding them. So when it comes to beer sculpting for him in particular, he just wanted the stragglers, you know, the beard just to look nice and shaped because he is growing out his beard for his wedding. So that's why I'm not taking any length from the very bottom. I just touch a little bit just to make it look cleaner and more tight because when you, you know how girls trim their hair on the, on the top to let it grow out longer. So I'm just kind of trimming these little stragglers on the bottom so that in time, you know, it'll grow longer because you're just giving it a nice little trim. But the main focus is getting the cheeks to look very slim and tight on his face. Um, having the back of his beard go from long to short. So from the side profile, it looks very long and it's got that nice full dense beard. And yeah, you, you just gotta take it slow, just get all the stragglers, you know, make sure you look at it from different angles. If you have to, go ahead and put a white towel around him so you can see all the stragglers. And just making sure it's nice and tight. Also make sure to go over a couple times if you have to, just to make sure everything lays down perfectly. You'll never get rid of all the flyaways, but you do your job to make it as tight as possible. This is the after. My boy is looking super fresh, beard is fully out, crispy, and that was a beard transformation. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys on the next one.